Hey guys, welcome back for another one. Today we're gonna to be looking at a skill called right triangle trigonometry. Really, this is one of the easier skills on the ACT that's tested all the time, and I really don't want you to be missing this one. This is really free points whenever I see it. Let's start with some easy ones. First of all, right triangle trig, what does that mean? This is sine, cosine, and tangent. Of course, so, ka, toa. And if you need a little reminder there, what is so? So is opposite over hypotenuse, ka is adjacent over hypotenuse, and toa is going to be opposite over adjacent. In that case, what should we do? Well, first of all, understand for a question like this, number 30, it says, I don't read any of this, right? We don't read any of this. It just wants this angle with this side and this side. Which trig function helps you here? I'd argue that it's opposite and adjacent opposite and adjacent which one is that for me that's making me think of toa and really the answer has to be oopsies not f but actually g and why g because this would be opposite seven is opposite over adjacent again opposite over adjacent so we like g let's keep going that was an easy one let's come over here for this one it's a little bit blurry, but that's okay. It says tangent of B. Tangent of B, well, that's just gonna be from angle B. Again, from angle B, opposite is over here, and adjacent is over here. In that case, we have one over root two H. Not too bad. Let's come down here for some harder ones, really in the 30s now, 39. This one gets students all the time. It's saying cosine of f. So first of all, cosine is right here, or sorry, f is right there, but cosine, what was cosine? I think it was ka, really, adjacent over hypotenuse. In that case, we can understand that this will be adjacent over hypotenuse. Which one is adjacent, which one is hypotenuse? Well, I would argue that this will be adjacent and this will be hypotenuse. Of course, hypotenuse is opposite of the 90 degree angle, right? So please watch out for that again. Opposite of the 90 degree, the longest side will be the hypotenuse. So adjacent over hypotenuse, I really like the answer choice of C. Let's keep flying. Let's come over here, try 43. Pause the video here if you'd like to give it a shot. But if not, just watch along. Which of these trig functions, sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cotangent, really these aren't tested all that often on the ACT, so I wouldn't worry about them too much. But A, B, and C, well, I think I'm looking at this angle, I'm facing this 100, and this side right here is that opposite of the hypotenuse. Again, what would I do here? What I'd understand that this is probably the opposite and this is probably the hypotenuse. I know it's hard to see, but if this is the 90, this is definitely the hypotenuse, and it even looks like the longest side. In that case, what is our final answer? Our final answer is sine. Remember, opposite over hypotenuse. Again, from this angle, this is opposite, and this is hypotenuse. Therefore, I really like answer choice A. That's good here for number 43. And we have just one last question for right triangle trig. Come down here for 39. Try this question by yourself if you'd like, or again, just watch along. From this angle... Which trig function would relate this side and this side? Would it be so, ka, or toa? Well, for me, I understand that this is opposite, and this is, of course, hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse, which one do we like there? If this is opposite and this is hypotenuse, we like sine. Really, we have sine of 40 is equal to 5 over C. From there, you want to get that C alone, and I hate fractions. How can I get out of this divided by C right here? Again, how do I get out of divided by C? I multiply both sides by C. I end up with C sine 40 equals 5, and you just have one last step here. Get the C alone. We have C equals 5 over sine 40. And that is it for this question. Which answer choice is that? I think we're going to have B. That's kind of a slippery one. Be really, really careful with questions like this. Do not miss them just because they're so easy once you get them. 
And that is it for right triangle trig. I'm actually gonna make another video in a little bit on this skill again, but approaching some of the harder questions, really the 59s, the 60s, some questions in the 50s, which actually are difficult using this skill. But for now, this is good. And these are really just the basics to give you a good idea of what to do. And I will see you guys in the next one.